this is Alberta Billy. She is an elder from the Weeweke First Nation in BC, a United Church member, and one of the first people to demand the United Church apologize for our role in the residential school system. The UCC did run residential schools from the late 1800s when we were part of the Methodist Church into closing the last one in 1969. In total, it was 15 schools not to mention the many day schools that we ran throughout the country. Residential school survivors have told their stories in many different ways and many different platforms throughout the decades, and their families of those who did not make it back home have continued crying out for justice and reconciliation. The path is long, I don't know how long it will take, but it is one that we are all urged to do, no matter how long we've been here, no matter our role. There's a 15 page document called the 95 calls to action that has been out for many years now. The language is very accessible. If you're looking to do something today, I urge you to print it out and read it and see what actions we can do large and small in order to reconcile with indigenous communities for the damage we have done in our part of colonialism. You can find more about Alberta Billy's story and her work and the stories of United Church School survivors at the links below, and together we can work towards reconciliation.